Well, I've not done one of these in over a week because I've been busy. And there was something that I had been thinking about talking about, which was technology versus packaging, but I'm not going to do that right yet. Rather, I want to do like a forensic breakdown of the thing that I've been working on because I thought I would be done in like three days and it's been just, just almost two weeks. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. Um, nominally, it's like a proposal to do some work. So nominally, it's a document, right? Now, a document, usually it's not, it's like a fact-based document. So a document sort of like um, requires reading other documents. Fine, and understanding what you're actually writing about. Cool. Now, the thing that I wanted to do is a, sort of introduce a new style uh, for the what, so because I want to basically demo the thing that I'm proposing. And um, so, what I do is I put that on the web as a rule. Um, I deliver all my stuff on the web, so there's like a website involved there. And I mean, it's basically the document or the the proposal is to do some what I have been doing, which is, you know, effectively gathering and concentrating all of the uh, bunch of information and uh, representing it in ways that uh, are useful to to my clients. And, you know, in this case, there's like a lit review involved. And uh, so the idea is there's going to be um, stuff like, so concept scheme in there, like glossary. Um, there is bibliography. There is, um, I do like a kind of a catalog of like orgs and people. So people and organizations, well, you know, people make artifacts and they work with each other and there's just the sort of utility in, uh, in sort of aggregating like all of the things. So show me everything that made, was made by this person kind of thing. And then organizations aggregate people. So they are kind of like large common factors for, for content. Um, then there's like a bunch of design rationale, which I call IBIS, which is all of the rationale that sort of like You've got, well, I mean, it, uh, here, it looks like this. So it's a sort of issue network that I'm not going to go into this. I've done tons of videos on this, but, you know, if you, that is, uh, the concept scheme is uh, in here as well. That's a bit of a hairball. So IBIS and concepts kind of go together, the glossaries and, and, and the IBIS. Uh, what else? So this is like a little extranet here. That is the work product. This is the, so the proposal is effectively a microcosm of the thing being proposed. Cool. Now, the, where are we here? So the actual proposal itself has um, a bunch of, like accordions and crap. So there was code uh, CSS that went into getting that looking right. And the IBIS tool had bugs. And this whole thing had intertwingler. This needed code, this needed content, and this needed also to go into there. So like all of the, every time the, the text of the, of the proposal makes like a claim or an argument or something like that, it's gotta be annotated and linked to the IBIS tool. 
which again, I'm not showing you that because it's confidential. And what the hell else? There was like server crap that I had to do. And uh, you know, so this is like nominally the job if, if you're just writing a document and then like all of this other stuff was crap that I had to do to make this go. And the thing, probably the single biggest thing, uh, oh, that's right, this was code. I had to do this as well. I had to write an index for that because I hadn't written that yet. And then this had bugs. So, yeah, the, the single biggest time suck though was the annotation of the IBIS into the document. And the problem with that was that this is a thing because I want, this is actually valuable. Like this, this bit is actually the valuable part because it's like, okay, why are we, why is anything is, is what it's answering. And if you're going to go write a document, you just write the text, right? You just, you're making an argument in the document and you go and you, you know, you write the argument out and then you're done. If you start in the tool, you write a bunch of stuff, but it kind of occupies this space in a way that is, it's harder to find. And what I've been finding was, is like, like if you did it all in here or did it all in here, if you did it all in here, you could transfer it to there, you'd be fine. If you did it all in here, you could transfer it to there and you'd be fine. But like doing it in kind of both, which is what you would do. This is the important aspect of it is, is it's absolutely natural to kind of straddle both. But going through, cause it's like, okay, I check the text cause the text is the thing that's being delivered. And I have to go into the tool, look to see if I had made the point in the tool, link that back into the document. If not, go here and write, you know, what the argument was, make sure it's linked up to the rest of its neighbors and then come back and go again. And I found that it could just crawls. Like it took me nine freaking hours or something like that. And I only got about halfway through and the document itself is, pff, I don't know maybe 2000 words. I like, I didn't check. I should check. But, um, anyway, so this dumb little thing that was this part, you know, this part, uh, turned into, you know, this whole other thing. And, uh, anyway, it, uh, was a lot more than I bargained for. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee.